Hey guys, here's Charlie Kevin Grace reporting to you from Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx. I want to pay my respects to an actor that a lot of you probably don't know and he doesn't get any recognition. He is buried here, um, not far from W.C. Handy's grave. If you go to uh, that vlog, you'll see where it is. Uh, Bainbridge Street is right there and then right in front of me is um, 211th Street. So um, it's in the corner of the cemetery. But uh, anyway, this actor's name is Lionel Kanagata. You may know him as Canada Lee. Some people still don't know that name, but he's a very interesting person. There is a book out about him, so I encourage you to, to pick it up. Uh, he did different things throughout his life. He was a jockey at first, and then he was a boxer. And uh, he wound up using the name Canada Lee as, um, as his boxing name. Uh, in the 1930s, he... Um, started acting and he did some plays. He was known for his performance in uh, Macbeth and also Othello. Later he wound up going to Hollywood and he started in different movies such as Lifeboat and uh, Body and Soul. And uh, in Body, Body and Soul he portrayed an act, uh, a boxer. Uh, I think another boxing movie he, he was in was called uh, Keep On Punching. But there's a, a couple other movies as well. Um, later he was blacklisted because he was part of a left-wing group. I don't know if that meant communist or what have you. Uh, in 1952, he wound up passing away from a heart attack, but he is buried here with his other family members and they're listed here on this um, grave. And like I said, right in front of me is 211th Street. He's uh, right, in, right under this big giant tree here. But uh, I encourage you to come out and pay your respects to this gentleman, um, Canada Lee. And um, if you like this video, please click subscribe at the bottom and feel free to leave any comments below. But uh, he's buried here in Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx. And uh, like I said, there is a book about him. So I encourage you to um, find out more about actor Canada Lee. The street knows that this is the home of the free, the land of opportunity. He knows, too, that all men are created free and equal and entitled to the preservation of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Canada had hit the scene like dynamite a few years earlier in the play, Native Son. He played Bigger Thomas, and Bigger Thomas was the kind of black man that America was scared to death of. Canada became an image to those of us who were on the outside. He symbolized black manhood, aggressive, proud, and dangerous, damn it. And Canada's showing forth of those qualities did not sit well with the powers that be. They were very blunt in saying, we will take you off of the blacklist. You will be able to work as much as you want. All you have to do is publicly come out and call Paul Robeson a communist. Canada saw through them and he told them where they should go. Get the hell out of here. His capacity for feeling the heartbreak of others was what made him a good actor and an important man. He was no mildly interested spectator of the world's affairs. He lived them. He threw himself into every scene where he was needed. He spent himself on the rest of us. Wore himself out, perhaps. He gave all of himself to us. Let us never forget to be grateful for the gift. My last neighbor of Canada told me that uh, there was all this pressure on him coming from, I guess, the government. And he said uh, that, uh, he said, Bill, uh, uh, they keep this up, they're going to kill me. And uh, two weeks later, he was dead. <laughs>